Hey guys, welcome to this new Blue Cat audio video in which we're going to use the Axiom plugin, which is a very easy to use amp simulator with multitudes of possible sounds. We're going to use that to try and get as close as we can to the sound of Guns N' Roses in Mr. Brownstone of the debut album Appetite for Destruction. I'm going to be using three main presets. The first preset it's going to be um, rhythm guitar on the left, the second preset rhythm guitar on the right. You can use headphones when you're listening to the original to really um, tell them apart. And the third um, preset is going to be the solo guitar, uh, obviously Slash, uh, Soul Hudson tearing it up on that song and uh, we're going to try to get as close as we can to his legendary tone. First preset, rhythm guitar on the left. That's the darkest guitar of the two, so the attack is slightly muffled and the distortion is not quite full out. It's more of a pushed plexi kind of attitude. So slightly distorted, uh, lots of crunch, very, very efficient in a rhythm rock guitar situation. For that first sound, we're going to use a Marshall plexi kind of head. So this is in guitar clean and uh, breed clean 4x12. Obviously uh, when we are talking about British amplification, Marshall that is, clean is very uh, relative uh, as you can see here. Uh, we're gonna push the drive around 6 to get a nice crunch going but not over saturate it. Um, the mid will not be pushed as it was in the preset here. Um, we're going to dim the treble slightly uh, in order to make the attack less aggressive but um, the tone will be at 0.34 in order for it to uh, shine a little more. We're going to put some reverb on it, so built-in delay and reverb, reverb and I'm going to be using the uh, plate preset since uh, this is the, um, the, the reverb of choice for most of those albums. Uh, the only change I'm going to do is dim the wets back to 20% uh, in order for the guitar not to be completely drowning in reverb. <laughs> Second preset, rhythm guitar right. This is going to have slightly more distortion, which is why I'm going to use the JCM 800 instead of the Plexi. And it's going to be slightly treblier with a well-defined attack. Also, this part is going to have Ottawa on the verse part. Um, the original, of course, has a regular wah, but as it is played in a very rhythmic fashion, we can get close to that sound with an automatic wah. For that second sound, I'm going to be using a JCM 800, so you'll find that in Crunch and uh, Brit 800 4x12, obviously being the biggest cabinet uh, that's available here. Uh, push the drive up to 7 which is still not uh, so saturated but uh, starts to cook a little more. Um, the bass slightly dimmed uh, in order to, to get a more precise general sound. The mids pushed uh, but not to the extreme plus 6 dB which is a lot already. Um, the treble pushed as well to get it uh, a little brighter and the tone 0.36 so even brighter than the previous sound. <laughs> Yeah. 
third preset, the solo sound. Of course, it's much more distorted than the two previous sounds. Treblier in order to uh, really get through the mix. And uh, it's got a wah in a fixed position so as to really enhance the mid-range. It may sound um, teeny and trebly on its own, but I guarantee you in a mix it's going to do what it's supposed to do. For that last sound, uh, we're going to use a higher gain amplifier. Uh, you'll find that in Drive, and this is Brighter Brit 4x12. Um, the gain remains as it is. The Drive will be at 7, even though it's the same setting as on the JCM800, the result is much more saturated. Leave the bass as it is, mid plus 2, treble 0, since it's already a very trebly amp, tone 30, and uh, I'm going to add some echo on it. I'm going to use a setting that allows me to have a little ambience on the sound, 300 milliseconds, feedback of around 15% and a mix of around 20%. So not a lot of feedback, not a lot of repeats, but the mix is loud so you can hear it properly. I'm going to add a little distortion on the input, so I'm going to use the blue drive. Um, very slightly driven so as not to push the um, input of the amp too much. Mid plus three, so I'm going to boost the mids and boost the gain, uh, so the amp will saturate more. And uh, I'm, I will use the uh, auto wah, but uh, in a very particular fashion. So this is the meow wah. Uh, disable the auto wah, and therefore you're only left with the position of your wah which is perfect for a fixed wah as we're going to be using for that solo. And there you go. <laughs> Here are the three sounds in the context of a mix.